Hey, welcome to a new video. We all have our favorite foods, those familiar products we rely on for our daily meals and snacks. But what if you discover that the production methods behind some of these foods are far from what you expected? Today we'll show you 20 foods you wouldn't want to buy anymore if you knew how they were made. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 20. Processed bread is a staple in many diets around the world, but it may come as a surprise to learn about some unappetizing ingredients that can be found inside it. One of those ingredients is L-cysteine, an amino acid often used as a dough conditioner. While L-cysteine itself is not inherently unappetizing, the source of it can be quite off-putting. In some cases, L-cysteine is derived from human hair. The use of human hair as a source is due to its high cysteine content. Hair is collected from barbershops, salons, and hairbrushes, and undergoes a chemical process to isolate the amino acid. The obtained L-cysteine is then used in the production of processed bread to enhance the elasticity and texture of the dough. Although the use of human hair-based L-cysteine is approved by regulatory authorities, it can be unsettling for consumers who might not have been aware of this practice. And believe it or not, while L-cysteine can be obtained from various sources, including animal feathers and synthetic production, the use of human hair-based L-cysteine has been reported in the past. Would you still eat bread after hearing this unappetizing fact? Let me know in the comments. Number 19. Vanilla and raspberry are popular flavors in the world of ice cream, but some commercial ice creams, especially those of lower quality or cheaper varieties, may contain less appetizing ingredients. These ingredients are often added to enhance or mimic the taste, texture, or appearance of the ice cream. A common ingredient found in low-quality vanilla and raspberry-flavored ice cream is costurum. Costurum is a natural flavoring obtained from the secretion of beavers. The secretions are produced by castor sacs located near the beaver's tail and rear end. Castorum has a musky vanilla-like scent, making it a potential ingredient for vanilla flavor. The use of castorum in food products is reportedly relatively rare. It's primarily used in small amounts in high-quality or artisanal products that emphasize natural flavors. The vanilla flavor in ice cream is often obtained from the vanilla bean, but it can also be synthesized from other sources. A common synthetic flavor used in vanilla-flavored ice cream is vanillin. Although vanillin can be chemically synthesized, it can also be derived from natural sources like lignin, a byproduct of wood pulp processing. Number 18. There's many alternatives available that use various softening agents. Furthermore, some chewing gum manufacturers offer vegan or plant-based options that contain no animal ingredients at all. Chewing gum is a type of candy enjoyed by many, but few may be aware of an ingredient called linolin, sometimes referred to as glenolin, that can be found in certain chewing gum brands. Linolin is a waxy substance derived from the libaceous glands of sheep. It's often used in various personal care products and cosmetics for its moisturizing properties. In chewing gum, linolin is used as a softening agent to give the gum a smooth and pliable texture. It helps prevent the gum from becoming too hard or brittle. The linolin used in chewing gum undergoes an extensive process to purify and remove impurities and ensure its safety and quality. Nevertheless, the next time you take a piece of gum to freshen your breath, you'll think about the sacrifice of a sheep. Number 17. Just because something is FDA approved doesn't mean it's appetizing. Canned mushrooms are the best proof of that. The FDA is the federal government agency in the United States that broadly regulates the quality of food and drugs. In this case, they had established guidelines regarding the presence of maggots in canned mushrooms. The FDA inspects canned mushrooms in lots, and the average of these portions may contain less than 20 maggots. Among these maggots, fewer than 5 may exceed 2 mm in size. It's important to note that these guidelines pertain to the average number of maggots in the inspected portions, and specific cans of mushrooms may contain a lesser or greater number of maggots. Nevertheless, the presence of maggots in canned mushrooms, even within these allowed limits, can still be unsettling for consumers. But it's not just maggots that you might find in your mushroom can. You might also encounter mites. The rule is that cans may have an average of 75 mites before the FDA takes action. Number 16. Hot dogs are a popular processed meat product consumed in various forms worldwide. They typically consist of ground meat, seasonings, salt, and other flavorings encased in a cylindrical shape. The type of meat used can vary, including beef, pork, chicken, or a combination of these meats. As for the claim that hot dogs are made from meat scraps, it is true that hot dogs may contain meat byproducts. These can include pieces of meat trimmed during the production of other products like steak. 
Another controversial aspect mentioned in the rumor is the use of pink slime in hot dogs. The term pink slime refers to a lean beef product made from beef trimmings that are mechanically separated from fat and connective tissue. This process involves using advanced technology to separate the lean meat from the fat, resulting in a product that is added to ground meat for various applications. Number 15. Red Bull, a popular energy drink, is often associated with rumors about its ingredients, including bull semen, taurin, and aspartame. Taurin is an amino acid that naturally occurs in the human body and is found in various foods, including meat and fish. It plays a role in cardiovascular function, nervous system development, and bile acid formation. While it's true that taurine was originally isolated from bulls, it is now synthetically produced. Red Bull, like many other energy drinks, contains taurine as one of its components. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener commonly used in various food and beverage products as a sugar substitute. It's been the subject of controversy and misinformation regarding its safety. In case you're not familiar with aspartame, it's a substance that tastes sweet but contains no natural sugars or calories when used in small amounts. And it's believed to be carcinogenic to humans, specifically a substance causing liver cancer. Number 14. Do you know why it's important to check the ingredient label on your box of breakfast cereals? This is why. Boxed breakfast cereals often contain additives and ingredients that can be harmful or just plain strange. Many packaged breakfast cereals contain artificial colors and flavors to enhance their appearance and taste. These additives are often derived from petroleum and can pose potential health risks. HVCS is a common sweetener found in many processed foods, including some packaged breakfast cereals. Excessive consumption of HFCS has been linked to various health issues, including obesity and metabolic disorders. And it gets worse. Most packaged breakfast cereals contain butylated hydroxytoluene, a preservative often used in packaged cereals to extend their shelf life. It's associated with potential health concerns and is also used in aircraft fuel and embalming fluid. There's also MSG, or monosodium glutamate. MSG is a flavor enhancer often used in savory packaged breakfast cereals. It's been associated with negative reactions in some people, such as headaches, flushing, and sweating. Number 13. Chicken McNuggets are a popular menu item in McDonald's, known for their breaded and fried chicken pieces. However, there's been some controversy surrounding the ingredients in the product. One of these ingredients is sodium aluminum phosphate, which is often used as a leavening agent in processed foods. Sodium aluminum phosphate helps Chicken McNuggets maintain their shape and texture during frying. However, concerns have been raised about the potential health effects of consuming aluminum in large quantities. Another aspect that has raised concerns is the use of chicken paste in the production of chicken nuggets. Chicken paste is a mixture of chicken meat, skin, and other parts processed to create a uniform texture. This process helps ensure that the chicken nuggets have consistency in taste and texture. Ammonia has also been associated with it. Ammonium hydroxide, a food-safe version of ammonia, is used in the meat industry as an antimicrobial agent to reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. In a video presented by Jamie Oliver, children are informed about the production process of chicken nuggets. This part of the video emphasizes the composition of the nuggets, with various parts of chicken being used. The children in the video are encouraged to think about what they eat and where their food actually comes from. Number 12. Microwave popcorn is a popular snack, but concerns have been raised about an ingredient called diacetyl, used to create a buttery flavor. Diacetyl is a naturally occurring compound found in various foods and beverages, including butter and dairy products. The concern is not about eating it, but about making it. Diacetyl is a chemical used to give microwave popcorn its buttery flavor. Inhaling diacetyl vapor can cause damage to airways and lungs, leading to a condition called bronchiolitis obliterans, or popcorn lung. Popcorn lung is characterized by scarring and narrowing of the small airways in the lungs, which can result in respiratory symptoms like coughing, wheezing, and shortness of breath. In severe cases, it can lead to respiratory failure. The association between diacetyl and popcorn lung first came to the public attention in the year 2000, when workers at a microwave popcorn factory in Missouri developed irreversible lung disease after inhaling excessive amounts of diacetyl. In addition to diacetyl, other chemicals in the packaging of microwave popcorn may pose potential health risks as well. PFCs, which were once used to prevent oil from seeping through the popcorn bags, were phased out between 2007 and 2016 due to concerns about their health impact. Number 11. Instant noodles have become a popular food choice worldwide. While they're generally considered a quick and convenient meal option, there are some aspects and ingredients that consumers may not fully be aware of. 
One aspect that may be surprising to some is the high sodium content in instant noodles. The seasoning packets that come with instant noodles are often rich in salt and flavor enhancers, contributing to the savory taste. Excessive sodium intake can have negative health effects, such as increased blood pressure and the risk of heart disease. It's important to consume instant noodles in moderation and can be mindful of total sodium intake. Another less known aspect of instant noodles is the presence of additives and preservatives. This includes ingredients like MSG, which enhance the umami flavor, and various food additives to extend shelf life and improve texture. While these additives are generally considered safe for consumption, some individuals may be sensitive to them. Additionally, instant noodles are often fried during the production process to dehydrate and create the characteristic texture. This frying process can lead to the formation of potentially harmful substances, such as acrylamide, a chemical compound that forms when starchy foods are cooked at high temperatures. Number 10. Cochineal dye, also known as carmine acid, has been used for centuries to create vibrant red colors in various products, including food, textiles, cosmetics, and art materials. However, you'll be surprised to learn where it comes from. Finely ground insects. The traditional method of obtaining cochineal dye involves harvesting and grinding female cochineal insects, which are scale insects native to Central and South America. These insects feed on cactus sap and produce carminic acid, a pigment that gives them their deep red color. To obtain cochineal dye, the female insects are carefully harvested from cactus pads. They are then dried and ground to obtain the red pigment. Cochineal dye derived from insects is still widely used in various applications, particularly in the food and cosmetic industry. Its use is regulated and is often listed on ingredients labels. Red food dye is also commonly used to give cakes, candies, and other food products a vibrant red color. Number 9. Beer is a popular alcoholic beverage consumed by many people worldwide. However, it may come as a surprise to some that certain beer brands use a substance called Insinglass, derived from fish swim bladders. Insinglass is a fining agent used to clarify the beer and remove any haze or particles, resulting in a clear and visually appealing final product. The use of Insinglass in beer production is a traditional method that has been employed for centuries. Fish swim bladders contain a protein called collagen, which helps clarify the beer by binding the unwanted particles in sediment, allowing them to settle to the bottom of the fermentation vessel. After the beer has been clarified, it can be gently siphoned or filtered, leaving behind a cleaner and more transparent liquid. It's important to note that not all beer brands use Insinglass in their production process. A notable exception is Guinness Beer. Guinness, a popular Irish stout, does not use Insinglass as a fining agent. Instead, they employ a unique filtration system that includes a combination of filtration aids, including seaweed-derived product called Irish moss. The vegetarian alternative method achieves the desired clarity without the use of animal ingredients. Number 8. Potato chips are a popular snack, but concerns have been raised about the presence of acrylamide in fried foods, including potato chips. Acrylamide is a chemical compound that naturally forms during high temperature cooking, such as frying or baking. When potatoes are fried at high temperatures, a chemical reaction occurs between the amino acids and sugars in the potatoes, leading to the formation of acrylamide. The levels of acrylamide in potato chips can vary depending on factors like cooking time and temperature. Generally, they contain around 1,000 micrograms per 2 pounds, or 1 kilogram. While acrylamide has been classified as a potential carcinogen in animal studies, the risks associated with dietary exposure to acrylamide in humans is not yet fully understood. Regulatory authorities continue to monitor and assess the potential health effects of sodium levels because salt is often used as a seasoning to enhance flavor. High sodium intake has been linked to health concerns such as hypertension and cardiovascular disease. It's advisable to consume potato chips in moderation and be mindful of overall sodium intake. Number 7. Processed meats, including ground beef, have been the subject of scrutiny due to certain misconceptions about the production. One presumed misconception is the presence of pink slime, which we discussed earlier. It's also relevant here. Pink slime, also known as LFTB, lean, finely textured beef, is a type of beef product used as a filler in ground beef. It's made from smaller pieces of lean meat that are mechanically separated from fat, connective tissue, and other undesirable parts of beef. This process involves treating the meat with ammonium hydroxide or citric acid, which act as antimicrobial agents to reduce the risk of bacterial contamination. The ammonia in ammonium hydroxide helps kill bacteria, such as salmonella and E. coli, that may be present inside the meat. Processed meats such as sausages or deli meats often also contain additives like sodium nitrate, which help maintain color and prevent bacterial growth. These additives have been associated with health concerns in large quantities. 
Number 6. Soft drinks like Coca-Cola and Pepsi might as well be core chemicals in cans. But what's so bad about them? They contain a chemical called 4-MEI, which in animal studies has been associated with an increased risk of tumors. Even the International Agency of Research on Cancer has classified 4-MEI as a possible carcinogen. In addition to this, they also use a substance called brominated vegetable oil, or BVO, in citrus-flavored soft drinks. This is said to help the flavor mix and prevent the oils from separating. BVO contains a component used in flame retardants. Excessive consumption of BVO can lead to skin lesions, nerve problems, and reproductive issues. However, BVO is banned in Europe and Japan. Phosphoric acid is also added to soft drinks to give them a zesty flavor and act as a preservative. However, regular consumption of phosphoric acid can erode tooth enamel and contribute to dental problems. It's also associated with an increased risk of osteoporosis and calcium depletion in bones. Light versions of soft drinks often contain artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose. Aspartame, when broken down in the body, can form compounds like formaldehyde, which is toxic. Number 5. Nutella is a hazelnut spread enjoyed by people of all ages. It has a creamy texture and a sweet chocolatey flavor. While Nutella is beloved for its taste, it's important to be aware of the ingredients and nutritional content. One of the main ingredients in Nutella is sugar, which provides sweetness and contributes to the overall flavor of the spread. However, it's worth noting that Nutella has a relatively high sugar content. Excessive consumption of added sugars can lead to health issues like weight gain, tooth decay, and increased risk of chronic diseases. Another key ingredient in Nutella is vegetable oil, specifically palm oil. Palm oil is used for its smooth texture and stability. However, there are environmental concerns associated with palm oil production, such as deforestation and habitat loss for endangered species. In addition to sugar and vegetable oil, Nutella also contains modified vegetable oil. Modified vegetable oils undergo processing to enhance certain properties like stability or texture. Number 4. Raw oysters are a delicacy enjoyed by seafood enthusiasts around the world. They are known for their unique taste and texture. However, it's essential to be aware of the potential risks associated with consuming raw oysters, particularly concerning hepatitis A and norovirus infections. Hepatitis A is a viral infection that can cause inflammation of the liver. Oysters, especially those harvested from polluted waters, have been linked to hepatitis A outbreaks in the past. The virus contaminates oysters when they're grown in waters contaminated with feces containing the virus. Norovirus is another common cause of foodborne illnesses, often referred to as stomach flu. It can cause symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps. Oysters can become contaminated with norovirus when they are harvested from waters, polluted with the virus, or come into contact with infected individuals during processing. To reduce the risk of infections, it's advisable to consume oysters that have been properly cooked. Cooking oysters to the recommended internal temperature can destroy harmful bacteria and viruses. Furthermore, it's important to ensure that oysters come from reputable suppliers who follow strict food safety practices and adhere to regulations. Number 3. Orange juice is a breakfast beverage known for its refreshing taste and vitamin C content. However, there's a few considerations when it comes to drinking orange juice. One concern is the presence of added sugars in some commercially available orange juices. Some manufacturers add sugar or high fructose corn syrup to enhance the sweetness of the juice. Excessive sugar consumption can contribute to weight gain, diabetes, and other health issues. It's advisable to opt for 100% pure orange juice or freshly squeezed juice without added sugars to minimize these risks. Some companies have been guilty of using harmful chemicals called methylanthrenolite to pasteurize orange juice. Pasteurization is a heat treatment process used to kill harmful bacteria and extend the juice's shelf life. Common pasteurization methods include high-pressure processing, which does not involve the use of methylanthronolite or other harmful chemicals. Number 2. Spam is a canned meat product that has been around for decades. It's made from a combination of pork shoulder, ham, salt, and sodium nitrate. While it's gained a reputation as a processed food with potentially harmful ingredients, it's important to understand the facts. One concern is the high sodium content in Spam due to the addition of salt. Excessive sodium intake has been linked to hypertension and cardiovascular disease. Regularly consuming Spam, or in large quantities, can contribute to these health risks. Another point of concern is the use of sodium nitrate as a preservative in Spam. Sodium nitrate helps inhibit the growth of bacteria, enhance the flavor, and gives the meat a pink color. However, there's been discussions about potential risks associated with sodium nitrate, particularly when it reacts with certain compounds during high temperature cooking. When this happens, nitrosamines are formed, which are considered possible carcinogens. Number 1. 
Mac and cheese is an American dish consisting of cooked pasta, usually macaroni topped with a creamy cheese sauce. The ingredients include pasta, cheese, milk, butter, and sometimes flour for thickening. Pithylates are a group of chemicals not intentionally added to mac and cheese. They're a group of chemicals used in various products, including plastics and packaging materials. However, they can leach into food from plastic packaging or processing equipment. Pithylates are a concern because they have been associated with potential adverse health effects. Food coloring, such as yellow 5 and yellow 6, is sometimes used to give mac and cheese its vibrant yellow color. These synthetic colorings are often derived from petroleum. Yellow 5 and yellow 6 are synthetic food dyes used to enhance the appearance of foods. They can provide a vivid yellow color to the cheese sauce. However, these artificial colorings have been linked to potential health concerns. Some studies have suggested that they may cause allergic reactions, hyperactivity in children, and have carcinogenic properties. Which food or drink will you no longer buy after watching this video? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.